Hi guys, it's the Nivs here with another video and uh, let's take them off. Uh, just doing a quick one. I've literally just watched the episode. It is uh, almost 10 p.m. UK time. So uh, I'm not going to do a review or anything tonight. I've only just literally watched it. Um, holy crap. Really? Briefly, spoiler alert, so if you've not watched it, then why are you even watching this, weirdo? Um, but, so, I don't even know where to start. Captain Jack, well, that's number one. Captain Jack with his Just For Men, all the way through. Love it. I thought it was brilliant. What I mean, what a shock. No spoilers, this has not been spoiled at all and that's that's the way it should be it was a surprise and i like surprises especially doctor who surprises and we had no surprises it was it was awesome thank you john barrowman for coming back to be captain jack just one more time maybe two maybe three we just don't know but the big one the big one is I said this on one of my last videos I said this I called it could this be the doctor before or could the doctor have a previous set of regenerations before this what technically would be the third set of regenerations could if she had a previous set before the ones we know now from Hartnell onwards which ended at Matt Smith getting a new set from Capaldi onwards, so technically there'll be the third set of regenerations. But it seems like, and it was briefly mentioned, that the the Doctor's time is all the time is converging or something. So maybe in each episode we're going to get a something or some body from the past. Just to show up because all the Doctor's timelines are going all skewy and weird. So maybe. So we have Master in Skyfall. I keep saying Skyfall. Spyfall. For two episodes. Then. Um, we Did we have anything in Orphan 55? I can't remember. And then in this episode we've obviously got Captain Jack. And another Time Lord. So this could, uh, and another Doctor, so this is obviously the Doctor's timeline all converging. So this is going from what the Master said at the end of Spyfall, saying everything you know, what you think you know, is a lie. And this is just like, oh my God, this is probably the most, I think it's really exciting, because basically what we're saying here is 50... What is it, 50, 56, is it? 56 years, 57 years, 56 years of Doctor Who has gone, whoa, gone. Pretty much, unless they do some something else to make it all back to normal again. But basically what they're saying is that everything we know about Doctor Who over the past 50 odd years is bull. Man, I love the fact that Captain Jack actually really quite likes um, Ryan and uh, <laughs> um, uh, Graham's face when uh, Jack sort of kissed him hi, <laughs> you know, and all that. But it's just the whole feel of it was, I mean, I'm going to do a proper review, I think, tomorrow. But this is just an automatic reaction after just watching. It's just so much to take in. I need to watch it again. I need to watch it again. Um, but what do you guys think? Please leave any comments below for this video. And um, I will talk about your comments tomorrow. So leave comments and then we'll discuss your comments in my video tomorrow. 
anyway this is the Niv signing off and um, my brain is about to melt <laughs> what the hell has just happened <sighs> cheers guys take it easy don't forget to hit the like um, subscribe if you've never been to us before Good, it's, it's alright here and um, hit the notification bell for any future videos or past videos we just don't know Take it easy. All right, turn on a bit. I'm going to explode my brain.